before we before we move into questions, just to wrap it up, there's could you share a little bit of what's going on in France as well as New Zealand after you've after you've given oh, yeah. Um, so, um, someone sent me, who was it? Oh, a friend of mine in, um, um, in, in Malta sent me the transcript of Macron's, Macron had a big press conference after a sitting of parliament. It must've been Thursday last week and, um, it might've, might've been actually, yeah, it was about Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday last week. And in that speech, he talked about, um, uh, I think he just must have been after a UN meeting. Anyway, so basically his, his entire thing was around France no longer is a country of abundance. <laughs> we must ration everything. We, we must give everything to each other. Gee. The state is here to provide for you. These are all the things that he's talking about in this speech. Right, <laughs> that that France will no longer be a state and a country of abundance. That we won't be a country that makes excess cheeses and wines. We'll only make for what we need to be self-sufficient. And I'm like, he's talking one hundred percent about communism. Yeah, you know, I, and he's saying that the champagne industry won't exist. The cheese industry won't exist. You know. Their, their dairy industry won't exist. Um, and, and it was all framed around, you, you will have, there, there won't be an abundance of food anymore. Gee. And then halfway through it, he turned around, and that's because climate change, <laughs> and the climate emergency, emergency, and the energy emergency that is coming with our brothers and sisters in Europe, we have to, um, we have to go with them. So a country that gets 70% of its energy from nuclear power and is looking to go to 90% energy of nuclear power, meanwhile, they're backflip saying that nuclear is bad, now yeah. they're reopening more. He's running around saying that the, the, the life that you've had in France is gone. So if you're a French person, run. Yeah. Fine second passport and get out of France because he's just told you that they get they're coming down to shut down the country well what's and, what's what benefit do they get by shutting it down well they, they do, do you think they're not going to have their cheese and their yeah, crackers and their bread of course not so yeah. everything's going to be produced for them you know they're they're never going to change their way the, the one thing I've always learned with politicians is they, they, they talk with one, one, one thing and then they do with the other, right? And politicians will never, ever, ever disadvantage themselves. Yeah. That's why I've always said politics matters. Yeah. And it's, you must know how to do it. Now, the same thing's happening in New Zealand. So, and you've got to remember Macron, um, Trudeau and Jacinta Ardern are all buddy buddy WEC young leaders, right? Jacinta Ardern, um, her, the shine has gone right off her in New Zealand. Friends of mine in New Zealand are, are, are ropeable. You know, the amount that, that she's destroyed and what she's trying to do to destroy the, uh, the country. Um, uh, I'd be surprised if she gets back in again this election. But the problem is New Zealand's going to have a coalition. I can't see anyone forming a government without being a coalition. Um, she, she's there at the moment. Um, I think she still needs Winston Peters' vote uh, on some things, but not on everything. So um, it, it, New Zealand is... It, if Australia needs a case study to see what's happening around the world, all we've got to do is look at New Zealand. Yeah, uh, the 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 rise of the Maori having a voice everywhere has not gone well at all. Um, great intention, but execution poorly, and they've just um, run rough shot. So the the Australian voice will be the same thing. Um, think that the the what's happening with the Maori um, situation in New Zealand 
is a reverse apartheid in, in South Africa in the 90s. And everyone was up in arms against that. So yeah. that's what's going to happen here in Australia. So um, the communists uh, are starting to get together um, and go, oh, shit, um, the people are starting to, to wake up, especially in places like New Zealand and Canada. Um, so watch this space. Um, so, um, yeah, very interesting what's happening um, there.